So we are going to stay with inequalities. Now we're going to put two things together that we've worked with. We've done absolute values already, okay? And we've done inequalities already. Now we're going to do them together, okay? If you remember any uh, absolute values, what does it mean to be the absolute value of something? Chase and Tyson, what do we think? Kaylin, what do we think? Jaden, what do we think? What are absolute values? You do the paper that says something. Antonio, what do you think? And Toya, what do you think? <laughs> absolute value, Bazida, is when it, it is the distance from zero. Okay? So whether it's a positive or a negative number, the result is always a positive. Marion, because we're looking at the distance from zero. So the absolute value of a negative number, Tyson, is still a positive. It just means you went backward a certain amount. Okay, so negative just means backwards, positive just means forwards. Okay, it's a direction, Antonio. Okay, that's all it is. <coughs> so we're allowed to have two values in the absolute value symbols. It could be a positive or a negative of the same thing. So if I have the absolute value of x can be greater than or equal to 5, when we go to solve it, I can say, okay, well, the x itself, right? Oop, probably try to draw. My x on the inside can be greater than or equal to 5. It could also be greater than or equal to negative 5, okay? This is a greater than, it's going to be greater, okay? So we are going to, oh, but I forgot to, look at that, I forgot to switch my sign. Broke my own rule. When we change the sign of the number, we change the inequality sign in the middle as well. Okay? So x is greater than 5, I'm going to give that a solid point, and it's going to point up. And I'm also going to put a solid point on negative 5, and work its way down. Okay? So greater than signs are great tors. They are or problems. Remember how all of my or stuff, Antonio, they bounced away from each other? Right, Josiah? All of my ors, they bounced away. Right, Tyson? Right, right. Okay. So great tor. If you ever have greater than, okay, think great or. It's going to bounce away. It's going to be your outward uh, examples that we've been doing. Okay. So what do you think less thans are going to be? Oh, They're going to meet in the middle, less the and. See how the word and is kind of in there? We're going to put it in there. Okay? So less thans are representing your and inequalities where they meet in the middle. Okay? So let's look at this one. The absolute value of x is going to be less than or equal to 8. So I take what's inside, less than or equal to 8. I don't change anything. But remember, what can be inside can also be negative. When I flip my number, I also have to flip my sign when it comes to inequality problems. Okay? So I have a solid point at positive 8. I have a solid point at negative 8. I'm less than positive 8, but I'm also greater than negative 8. See how they meet in the middle? Okay? So this top one was a great tour, so we know it went opposite directions, okay? And then my last one was a less than, which is where they meet in the middle. Okay, so great tour, less than. Or means opposite directions, O-O, or opposite. Okay, and we just gonna meet in the middle. Okay, so what are inequal? What does this mean? It means that absolute inequalities are just compound inequalities. Okay, so it's what we've been doing. Okay, it has it is what we've been doing. They're just setting it up with an absolute value sign. We're gonna create the two separate pieces and then make them bounce away or meet in the middle. Yeah, write that down. 
All right, so let's do a couple more. Okay, so we're going to solve absolute value inequalities. Um, it says to solve absolute value inequalities, use use the greater or the less than. Okay, I wrote it above because that space is way too little. Okay, so we're going to use greater less than when we when we go through all of these. Okay, so my first one, I have the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to four. Is that a greater than or a less than symbol? That's a greater than. Greater than. So am I, are they going to bounce away or meet in the middle? If they grow, if they're great tour, oh, bounce, away. bounce off. Remember, or opposite. They both have the letter O, right? Or opposite. They're going to go in opposite directions. So we can already picture in my head. I'm bouncing off in two different directions. Okay. So I got to set this up. My first one. We bring the middle. We don't change anything at all besides just taking the bars away. Okay. The second one we write down. We flip the sign in the middle. And we flip the sign of our number. So flip, flip. These are nice. I don't have to do anything else, do I? Good. Look at that. That's nice. Are uh, they're both going to get an open or a closed dot? They're both going to be closed. So we have positive 4 and negative 4 with closed pieces. Okay, look, greater than 4 means it goes up. Less than negative 4 means it goes down. So does that follow the rule? Did they go opposite directions? Yeah. Okay. Interval notation. So looking at the left side. Remember, what do we usually use for the arrows? What symbol? Parentheses with what? Infinity. There we go. I heard it. Good. So negative infinity. It goes up to negative 4. It's going to get a bracket. There we go. We're going to put the word or in here. Or bracket positive 4 to infinity. Remember, arrows are always infinities. Okay? okay. We're going to do one more just like this before I start doing more things in between the bars. Okay? So one more like this one. You're doing great, guys. You're doing great. All right, absolute value of x is less than 7. Less than. Is that my or or my and? For less than. Is less than my or or my and? Less than. Thank you, Chase. Less than, meaning it's going to meet in the middle. Okay, so I already know we're going to meet in the middle. First thing I do is I write it without changing anything, without just, uh, just got to take the bars away. So x is less than 7. Then x can be, and I flip the sign, flip the sign. So it's now greater than, and now it's now a negative 7. Open or close points? Open. So does that make sense to be less than 7 but greater than negative 7? Wouldn't that meet in the middle? Like that. So that's an and. This one up here was an or. Our interval notation, they meet in the middle, so I need my two end points. Wait, what's my first end point? Negative 7. Mm -hmm. That's as low as it goes right here. Yeah. How tall does it go or how far up the number line do we go? We go up to positive 7. Parentheses or brackets around these. So infinities come from arrows. Okay. Correct. Then you use the actual numbers. Yep. Okay. So we're about to level up. Do you have any questions for me? Level up. Yep, we're going to level up a little bit. So you see how what's inside? There's an extra something going on? It's not just x anymore. It's x minus 1. Okay? But the setup, boys and girls, the setup is going to be the same way. Shh. 
Okay, I have the absolute value of x minus 1 is greater than 6. Greater than. So is that opposite or inside? Greater. Or opposite. They're going to bounce away. This or this. Okay, they're going to bounce out. Okay. <clears throat> so I already pictured in my head two pieces going opposite directions. Okay. So my first equation is x minus 1 is greater than 6. Not changing anything besides dropping the bars. Our second equation, x minus 1 is just fine. I'm going to flip the inequality and flip my 6 to a negative 6. That's easy still. Good. Now we only have one step left. What is still attached to both of my x's? What's still attached to my x's? There's a 1, so how am I going to move it? We're going to add it. What's up? So over here, I have x is greater than, that's a 7. We said this was an or problem, right? Or x is going to be less than, what's negative 6 plus 1? What's negative 6 plus 1? Tyson, so what do you think? You, what's negative 6 plus 1? True story. Negative five. Okay. <clears throat> so negative five and seven are going to get points. Are they going to be open or closed? There's not an extra line, right? So they're not going to be filled in. Okay. So open on seven. Um, open on negative 5. To be less than negative 5, we go down to the left. Greater than 7, we go up. So does my graph make sense? Two pieces bouncing away? Yes. Uh, nope, only if they're filled in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yep. So here we go. My first piece has an arrow, right? So that's negative infinity up to negative 5, they're all going to get the parentheses. Or, over here we started at 7, we have an arrow going in the positive direction, so it's positive infinity. So, or 7 to infinity, like that. Mm-hmm. <coughs> All right, going on to number four. I have the absolute value of x plus 2 is less than or equal to 7. Our absolute value of x plus 2 is less than or equal to 7. So less than, is that going to be an or or an and problem? An and problem. So does that mean they're bouncing away or meeting in the middle? Meeting in the middle. Yes. This is going to be an and. They're going to meet in the middle. Okay. So I have x plus 2 is less than or equal to 7. And we have x plus 2. Now we got to flip, flip. So greater than or equal to and then negative 7. Okay. Both of these have the same next step. What are we going to do to get the x on its own? Subtract, Subtract what? The, the 2. Okay. So here I have x is less than or equal to, what is 7 minus 2? 5. Nope, positive 7 minus 2. It's 5, you're right. And I have... Negative 7 minus 2, which gives me negative 9. So remember, guys, we can write these like, um, we can write these like this as well. We don't have to, but that is the same thing. So I want to make sure you recognize that. I'm going to do that for number 2 also, okay? You can write it since they're ands. You can write it with the x in the middle. You just do your lowest number first then your highest number second. So technically that is the same thing, okay? 
When we go to graph this, I know I have endpoints at negative 9 and positive 5. Are they going to be closed or open? Closed. They're going to be closed. What's up? <laughs> yes. I see lots of things. So there's negative 9. Here's positive 5. So when I do interval notation, I know I'm as low as negative 9. We go as far as positive 5. Do they both get parentheses or both get brackets? These both get brackets. Hopefully you've noticed, but I'm still going to point it out. When you do absolute value inequalities, they will both be the same thing. Okay? They will both be open. They will both be closed. They will both be parentheses. They will both be brackets. Okay? Inequalities, it, you'll never take away or put in that extra line. It's just always going to be there. Okay? Last one on the front page. I have 3x is greater than 12. So is this going to be an and or an or? An or. There you go. So is it going to go opposite directions or meet on the inside? Opposite. Oh, opposite. Or opposite. We know they're going to bounce away. Okay? So, my two equations. Take the equation, but just drop the bars. We have 3x is greater than 12. Or, we have 3x, flip the sign, flip the number. So, it's now less than, and instead of positive 12, now it's negative 12. What are we going to do for both of these? Divide by 3. No. Okay. I divided by a number. Am I going to flip my signs? No. No, because my number was not negative. It was a positive 3, so we're good. Okay. So this is going to stay x is greater than. Now it's a 4. Or x is less than negative 4. Open or close circles. Tyson, what do you think? I think it'll be open. Yes. So open at negative 4, open at positive 4. They're an or, so they will go opposite directions. Interval notation, what do those arrows give me? They give, there you go, they give me my infinities. So here's negative infinity, because see how we're in the negative numbers? Up to 4, this goes positive 4, up into the positive infinities. Hey, Chase, can we keep our feet to ourselves? Thank you. <laughs> Parentheses and brackets. Parentheses and brackets, friends. Parentheses all the way through, okay? Uh, infinities always get parentheses. Since my circles are open, those are also parentheses. Okay? All right, let's see. Moving on to the back. Um, I'm going to work through the evens because I do want to do a little bit of everything. And then if time lets me, I'll go back and do more. But I want to at least get through the evens on the back. Okay? And then we'll see where we are time-wise and we'll decide what to do from there. Okay? So, number six. Yes, baby. Okay. Number six, we have 2x plus 5 in absolute value is greater than or equal to 3. Okay? Is this an and or an or? Oh, oh, or, or, or Great tour, right? Great tour. And if you need to write to the top of your paper, those symbols, those are great tour, meaning they're going to bounce away. Okay? And then if you need to remind yourself these two symbols, are less, whoa, calm down, there we go, hold on, Pin's doing something, okay, if we remember that these are less than, which means that we have things meeting in the middle, so if you need to put that top of your paper, to help you remember which one means which, okay, 
So this symbol is a greater than or equal symbol, so it's an or problem, so we're going to bounce away from each other. Okay? Our first one is going to be 2x plus 5 without the bars is greater than or equal to 3. Or the other problem we're going to set up is still 2x plus 5, but now we're going to flip the inequality and flip my 3 to a negative 3. I'm going to solve both of these at the same time because I'm going to do the same steps. Okay, both of these, what do I have to move first? The 5. I'm going to subtract 5 first from both of my equations. Okay, so subtract 5 over all the way. My left equation is now 2x is greater than or equal to, what's 3 minus 5? Negative 2, good. Over here, I have 2x is now less than or equal to, what's negative 3 minus 5? Negative 8. They both have the same last step. What do I need to move? The 2, how am I going to move it? Divide. Does that change any of my signs, dividing by 2? No. <clears throat> So here, this becomes x is greater than or equal to, what is negative 2 divided by 2? Um, it's negative 1. Yes, negative 1. Or, over here, what's negative 8 divided by 2? Almost. Negative 4. Okay. Are they, uh, so we have negative 1 and negative 4 on my number line. <clears throat> Are they going to get open or closed pieces? They're going to be closed this time. Negative 4, here's negative 1. And we said they're bouncing away, correct? Make sure it makes sense. We're getting greater than negative 1, so we're getting further up on my number line. Less than negative 4, we're getting lower on the number line, so it makes sense. What do my arrows give me? What do arrows give me? The arrows are infinities. Yep, those are my infinities. Okay, this helps you with writing your interval notation. So my first piece goes from negative infinity up to negative 4. Or, we're from negative 1 to infinity. Our infinities always get what? Parentheses. Do my numbers get parentheses or do my numbers get brackets this time? Now they get brackets. What's up, friend? My daughter. Me too. All right, so number 8 has something new. What does it have? Oh, no, there's a 2 on the outside. That's not fun. Could I get rid of it, though, pretty easily? Hey, can I get rid of that 2 out front of my bars? Yes. Yes. And you want to. You want to get rid of that 2 because you can't do your two equations until the bars are by themselves. Okay? If you have a 2 right now, the bars are not by themselves. So you're going to divide this entire thing by 2. Okay? I'm going to write it like this so it's not confusing. So this 2 is what's being divided out. So we have the absolute value of 2x plus 8 is greater than or equal to because the 2 was positive. Um, and now it's a 6 on that side. Okay. So if there's ever anything outside the bars, you've got to move them first. Okay. Now we can make my two equations, and I can also decide, is this a greater than um, or a less than? Is it an or or an and equation? What's that symbol? Greater than or equal to. So these are going to bounce away from each other. Okay. So here we go. Two equations. Are you all ready? Ready? 
So I have 2x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 6. That's my first one. Or 2x plus 8, flip my sign, flip my number. So now it's less than or equal to negative 6. What's the next step in both of these problems? Zyla, what do you think? What's the next step in both of these problems? What's the loose number? Chase, what do you think? The loose number? Um, six. Is it the two? Um, okay, you're not wrong, but that's not the one I want to move. You want to move the two? Two X? Eight? Yes, we're going to move the eight to be with the six. Okay? Uh, we're going to move it by subtracting it. <laughs> We're going to subtract 8 across the board. On this side, I get 2x is greater than or equal to 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Over here, we have 2x is less than or equal to negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. All right, Tyson, now what? Okay, Chase, what am I going to divide by? Uh, 2. Yes. Does this flip my sign? Uh, which one? Any of them. Uh, no, because really. no, the 2 wasn't negative. Okay, so we have x is greater than or equal to, that's going to be negative 1. Or my x can be less than or equal to, that becomes a negative 7. All right, they're both going to be the same kind of dots. Are they both going to be open or closed? <laughs> they're going to be the same kind of dots, Marion. Is that they're going to be open or closed? Closed. Yes. Closed. Yes. Closed. Good guess. You have a 50-50 chance. Why are they closed? Because we have our extra line. There we go. Good. Good job. Okay. So here's our negative 1. And then here is negative 7. We're greater than negative 1, so we're getting taller on the number line to pause infinity. We're less than negative 7, that means we're getting lower down to negative infinity. Our first interval notation, we have negative infinity to negative 7. Our second piece is negative 1 to infinity. What do infinities always get? Tram, what do parentheses always get? Come on. Parentheses or brackets? Parentheses. The curvy ones. Okay? Parentheses. What do my numbers get? They either both get parentheses or both get brackets this time. They are both getting brackets. Good, because they're closed. Good. All right, we got this, friends. Let's get through two more, okay? Let's get through two more, and then we can do stamps. All right, number 10. I have negative 9 times the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than negative 45. Tyson, is there something outside of my bars? Yes. Jaden, what do you think it is? What's outside of the bars, Andrea? What's there? That's what we need to move. For number 10. We need to divide it by, yes? By what? By the negative 9. Good. We're dividing both pieces by negative 9. That moves this one. We now have the absolute value of x minus 3. Hey, guys. We divide it by a negative. What happens? Our split. Negative 45 divided by negative 9 is positive 5. This was the first flip, guys. This was the first flip because we divided by negative 9. So we had to flip it this time. So now we have to decide... So you can't judge the and or the or until after the bars are on their own because of that reason. Because they might flip when you get to them by themselves. 
Now that they're by themselves with the x minus 3, is this going to be an and or an or? It's an and, less than, so it's going to meet in the middle. Okay? So we're going to do x minus 3 is less than 5, and x minus 3, flip my sign, flip my 5. Okay? They both have the same next step, and what is it? Jaden, redemption time. What am I going to do? Come on. You can do it. What am I going to do next with the orange to get the X by itself? Yes, good. We're going to add three. This does not flip my sign. This stays X is less than. Five plus three is eight. And over here, negative five plus three is negative two. What kind of dots am I going to give 8 and negative 2? Open or closed? They are open. We're getting stamps today. We said it's an and, so what does that mean about my, my connection? Is that, are they bouncing away or connecting in the middle? They are connecting in the middle. There's my negative 2. Here's my positive 8. We meet in the middle because it's an and problem. Remember, we could have written that as negative 2, less than x, less than 8. That means the same thing. Okay. They both get the same thing on the outside. Will they both be brackets or both be parentheses? Both be parentheses because we're open. Okay. No, we, we need to stamp today. I think I think we should stop. Let's stop here and stamp. Okay? Let's stop here and stamp.